Okay, he's almost at about half. Even though it doesn't look like half. dead lead are you perhaps Morgram? indeed i am is she famous she's a high-ranking seraph who's a lone wolf a cat and is imbued with a powerful blessing whoa alas how shameful that you had to see that side of me this city is filled with the desires of greedy humans i don't think you should feel responsible for it no i must atone for it Shepard, you are looking for a seraph to bring the blessing to this city, are you not? Um, well, this city is... Pendrago is a big city. It's impossible to eliminate all the malevolence, and the church still holds the power. But that means all the more that there are those who would cry out for salvation. They're just turning to seraphim out of desperation. Yet are the people's wishes not genuine? I can still maintain the blessing with them. But still, you could become a Hellion again. I've got an idea. Why not use the Church's authority against them? Wait, do you intend to filter human prayers? Pretty sneaky. I've been pondering over the role of the blessing in human society. Any conclusion? It doesn't really do anyone any favors if I just take their prayers and give them the blessing in return. <laughs> Quite a lot of stress for nothing. To coexist with humans in peace, there are many things that Seraphim must be conscious of. I see. I hope the Seraphim you're thinking of will notice as well. Oh, what a quick-witted lass. Huh? You're not talking about yourself? You mean another Seraph, yeah? I truly hope they notice me and my efforts. We understand your idea. 
We'll try and find an appropriate vessel for you. Is the inscription of the Shrine Church still there? If we use that, I should be able to maintain a good distance with the believers. It's still there. Please, Morgren. Shepard, I know I have said much. But remember that I do not distrust humans. It's just that humans and Seraphim need to know where they stand on the issues. Yes, indeed. Both parties shall. Morgrim sure is the cat's me- I mean, quite a person. Yeah, even though she looks so fat and I mean proportionate. Malevolence, prayer, enshrinement, giving the blessing. We Seraphim ought to reconsider how we interact with humans, like Morgrim has. We humans should do the same for Seraphim. I think making that effort is the first step for peaceful coexistence, both for the Seraphim and humans. But even Morgrim became a Hellion. Reality is cruel. Yeah, so are you. Let's not get too idealistic just yet, though, huh? Right. There was so much malevolence in Pendrago that even Morgrim couldn't handle it by herself. We can't ignore that fact. Maybe there's a reason why. A reason that might have something to do with the overflowing malevolence. You may be right. We shouldn't leave it all to Morgrim, and be sure to check up on her once in a while. Yeah. Let's restore our... I think I got totally lucky with that last fight. Barely leveled up enough to fight it. Oh wow, she's actually sitting on it. Alright, it seems like no matter what, we're gonna have to go back. Where 
on earth could the trial shrines be? Why don't we double check the mural back at the hideout? No, oh, I should save first, I'm pretty sure. It's the kids. The ones hunting soldiers. They're dead. Did the army do it? Doubtful. They wouldn't leave corpses in the open like this. Nor would they go to such extremes. Who else could it be? Uh, uh... Thank goodness! One's still alive! We did... What they asked... Uh, why? Saray, watch out! Why did you kill them? Looks like fire is my best option. Be the chief. I don't know. We'll deal with that later. We must purify her. Okay, maybe I should come back. Ah, 